Jack is a, you know, a futuristic blue collar guy, basically. You know, he's a guy who, he fixes drones and he's in charge of uh, security uh, for the resource gatherers and those big machines that are gathering up uh, Earth's seawater, uh, you know, to be utilized for the new colony on Titan. And that's his job. Every day he f goes down to Earth and Vickas stays in the Sky Tower. And he essentially is just fixing the drones and trying to not get killed by the scavs, you know, the aliens in the film. He feels such a pull to the Earth, to home, that this is his home. I think that theme, in the, it's a big theme in the film, what is your home? And, and this is his home, and he is questioning whether he wants to leave or not, but all the resources are going, and Vika can't wait to go to Titan. You know, that she has done the five-year tour of duty, and she is ready to move on. Jack doesn't know why he feels nostalgic for certain items uh, that he has, New York, the hat. You know, that's part of the mystery of the movie, the, the Empire State Building, which features, you know, largely in the film and is, is a, you know, a romantic element to the picture and a tragic element and a dangerous element to the picture. <clears throat> and he doesn't know why. And he's someone, Jack is curious. Jack wants to know. He wants to understand things. And he's, he's not, uh, he doesn't, he's not satisfied with not knowing the answer to something. You know, he's a guy who fix things. And he understands how the drones work, and he understands how the, you know, how things work. So he is very curious about why. What I love about Joe, and as I said, he's a visionary filmmaker. He, it's a very personal story, but in a massive landscape with epic stakes. Literally, the fate of the world is at stake. All of a sudden, this woman arrives, and she's obviously a mysterious woman, she's a human, and this spaceship has crashed within his zone of operation, and suddenly there's that woman who he has dreamed about. Uh, and he's tried to block it out, but he's dreamed and he feels this pull to this woman, and now she's here. I do the stunts, I, you know, when I look back and I, you know, I'm a lover of film, so I watch a lot of movies. And in growing up, you know, looking at, you know, Buster Keaton, uh, you know, Harold Lloyd, uh, Charlie Chaplin, um, you know, the physicality of a character uh, comes through. And that you can put the camera in places where you may not necessarily be able to put it there uh, if I don't do the stunt. And it's also, if it's character, you know, and it's storytelling, then we do it. We, we design the things around me. I don't do it just to do it, just to do a stunt. It's, it's storytelling for me, and it's how, how can I best bring the audience into the action, bring the audience into the story, and that's, that's how we always look at it. I couldn't wait to go to Iceland. I've never been there, first of all. Just absolutely stunning uh, country. And when you get there, it's hauntingly beautiful. And we were there when it was daylight for 24 hours. Um, the expanse is, you know, I, you know, Joe's eye and how he shot it is just so fast and it just seems to go on forever and to you know as the film takes place 60 years from now to that to be you know the east coast uh is it, it's it was really it's just hauntingly beautiful it's extraordinary <laughs>